Welcome to Hanging with Mrs. Hayward. If you're just logging in right now, we are starting the literacy portion of our show. And what we're going to do, um, we've seen these before, um, but I'm going to bring them out again because they are super fun and the kids just love to use them. So these are little tiny acorns. And I just picked them up from Scholar's Choice. So you can do a super easy uh, online order if you want, um, if you want to grab these or you can just watch and replay this show because I'm gonna post this uh, to my YouTube channel. So you can watch it there. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to pull out an acorn and I'm gonna do a variety of activities with this. So stay with me. So I'm gonna show you the range of things that you can do with this simple acorn activity. So I'm gonna start here. So first thing we could do is we could just start with letter recognition. So what is this letter? What is this letter? And what sound does this letter make? Hmm. What is this letter and what sound does it make? That's a great conversation. Pop it down in the comments if you know. What is this letter and what sound does it make? So this is a great starting activity for our little ones. Chelsea, we started with this when she was two. Um, and so she knew all her letters and her letter sounds when she was two um, because of this little activity. So we started with this super fun activity. What is this? What is the letter and what is the sound? Good job, excellent. Good job, Nikki. And um, Hope, what's your other little one's name there that's with you? Nikki and tell me the other one. Maddie is here now, good job. Hi, Maddie. And it's it makes Nikki, says it makes the er sound. It makes the er sound. Is it Nikki? Tell me who's answering, Ashley. Tell me which one of your little ones there, your little brothers or sisters. Bella, Belle, sorry, Belle. Tell me which one is answering, who's answering, so I know to, who to give the shout out to. Ky Kayla says er. Uh, Clara says r, er, for rock troll. We love trolls world too. R and er, yes. So the R says er, er. Okay, so next thing that we can do with this is we can say, hmm, now we know the sound, we know the letter. What do you think is inside? What is something that starts with that sound? What could be inside? So Nikki and Belle, okay, excellent. I'll give them shout outs when they are saying their answers. You're doing a great job, Hope. You are a great big sister. What do you think could be inside? Give me some guesses. What could be inside this er, r, acorn? Let me know. What could be inside? Marissa says reef. A reef could be inside. Whoa, that's fancy. That's a good one. See, our older kids can say harder words, too. Definitely. What's an R word that starts with er that could be inside here? Kayla says rabbit. Clara says rock. Those are both good answers. Could be red. Could be... Uh, a ring? It could be a ring in there. Let's find out. Let's see what's in there. It's a robot. A robot. That's so funny. A robot. Oh, and it could be a rhino. You're right, Dylan. Excellent. Okay, so now for my older ones, your challenge would be, now that you know it's a robot, I want you to use robot in a sentence. Pop it down in the comments. Use robot in a sentence. So I'm gonna show you an example. The robot moved its feet. That's a sentence. The robot moved its feet. The robot talked loudly. Use the word robot in a sentence. That is your challenge work if you are 
an older child. Yes, Francisco, robot, you've got it. So if you are older, use the word robot in a sentence for me. That's your challenge. You see how we can use this simple activity and we can um, modify it for where the child is. Obviously, when we started doing this and we were just looking at letters and letter sounds, we were not um, making up sentences. The other cool thing about this is that it has a capital R and it has a lowercase r right there. So it's perfect for matching. So you can do a game with just matching the acorns. You can take out the robot and just match the lids to the um, letters. And there's a little bit of clues too, so it makes it not super hard because the same color lid is the same color R, um, but there's a few different green ones. So there's a little bit of challenge there, but it's also uh, not too overwhelming because all the acorn tops are not the same color. Uh, okay, so let's see our sentences. Marissa says, a robot says beep, bop, beep. Good one, Marissa. That's a great sentence. Uh, Hope says, I am a robot. Good one. And Francisco says, the robot does everything. Oh, I need a robot. I need a robot to do my dishes. Good sentence, Francisco. Those are some really good sentences. Good job. Okay, let me find a letter that you might have never seen. So this could be a super challenge. Okay. So this letter right here. Tell me what it is in the comments and tell me what sound does it make? I'm going to move it really, really close for you. What letter is it and what sound does it make? What letter is it and what sound does it make? Pop it in the comments. It's purple, so it's a little bit harder to see. What letter is it and what sound does it make? Pop it in the comments. Oh, Dylan had a great sentence for the R. She said, the robot moved his head. Yes, the robot moved his head. Uh, Kayla says, yes. The F says, excellent. Maddie says, F says, excellent. Ella got it. Uh, Liam. Liam loves robot. Uh, Liam says robots are cool. Oh, nice. Um, Dylan got it. She says the F says Noah has F. Uh, Noah says F, and Francisco says like my name, Francisco. Yes, exactly. So, what do you think could be in there now? Chelsea says the robot do everything. So good. That's a great sentence, Chelsea. And good writing. Good trying at your spelling. That's really good. Remember, our spelling doesn't have to be perfect. We can try. We can definitely just try our best. That's what I'm always telling Chelsea. Just give it as a fish. Hmm. I wonder what is in here. I wonder. Okay, so here's the lowercase f. What do you think is in there? <gasps> if you said frog, you're correct. It's a frog. Okay, so now use frog in a sentence. Use the word frog in a sentence. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. That's my sentence. The frog says ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. That's my, my sentence. What is your frog sentence? Marissa says uh, fish, Dylan says it's a frog, and Hope says a fish. Use the word frog in a sentence. Look how cute this little guy is. Oh, he's so cute, so super cute. Look at that, so cute. Use the word frog. Ella says the frog likes to jump. That's such a good sentence, Ella. And remember it has the upper and lowercase um, matching too. You can play a matching game with the upper and lowercase, which is so great too. Um, Maris, uh, Dylan says the frog jumped and Hope says frogs like water. That's a great sentence. Good job, boys and girls. Excellent. You are so good at this. Okay. 
I'm going to try to pick something that we have never looked at. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, what is something we haven't looked at at all? Okay. I'm going to pick this one. So tell me what letter it is. And tell me what sound this letter makes. It's a vowel. So this is a tricky one. The vowels make two sounds. They have a long sound and a short sound. So what sound does the vowel make? So we know the long, so long sound is always, it says its own name. So the, a long vowel always says E or A or B. I or O or U. Long vowels always say their own name. So those are easy peasy. But the short vowels, they say a different name. So what does this vowel say when it's short? Uh, Liam says tadpoles turn into frogs. Good one. So Liam, that was some science and a sentence. You are smarty pants. Uh, Ella says um, E and the, and the long E says E. But what does the short E say? Hope says E and E. Clara says it's an E and it goes eh. Yes, it goes eh, Clara. You're so right. So the short E goes eh, 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 like in pet, et. The short E says eh. Everyone say that right now, eh. The short E says eh. That's so, so key. That's a tricky one. Um, good job, Dylan. Good job, Kayla. What do we think is inside? Make a guess. What's inside? Good job, uh, Maddie. Good job, uh, Dylan. Ella, oh, Dylan thinks it's an elephant. Bonnie said, or Liam says E for F. Ella says F. Good. Chelsea says elephant. She thinks there's an elephant in here. Hope says F. Good job. What do you think is in here? In the E. If you said elephant, you were correct. Clara thinks it's an elephant. Francisco said elephant. And Liam loves elephants. Okay, let's make up a sentence. You're right. You're right, Ella. Let's make up a sentence for the elephant. I'm going to say my sentence is elephants are gray. That's my sentence. Elephants are gray. I have three words in my sentence. Don't forget, a sentence starts with a capital letter and it ends with a period. Starts with a capital letter, ends with a period. There is a really, really good point to remember. Sentence starts with a capital, ends with a period. Give me a sentence for elephant. This is so fun, boys and girls. I love this. This is so fun. I'm having so much fun with you this morning, boys and girls. Honestly, you're my best part of the day. Love you guys. Uh, Liam loves elephants. Uh, Marissa and Kayla say they think there's an elephant in there. Hope says elephant. Marissa says, here's Marissa's sentence. Elephants drink water and are big. Excellent sentence. Excellent. Good job. Uh, Francisco says the elephant cleans oneself. Good job. Hope says elephants are gray. Good job. Dylan says the elephant drank the water. Good job. Clara says Dumbo is an elephant. You're right. You are right. And that is a good sentence. Good job, boys and girls. You did great making up your sentences. Those are great. And the older you are, the more fancy your sentence can be. So when you're littler, you can make a simple sentence like elephants are gray. But when you're older, you can add lots of descriptive words. So you could say elephants are gray and loud and like to drink water from their long trunks, right? Hello, that's a lot of words in my sentence. So you can make a big fancy sentence when you're an older kid. Elephants, I think elephants drink is what Chelsea's writing there. 
Good job. And you know what? Your spelling doesn't have to be correct because mummies and daddies can come back and help you with that. I always do that with Chelsea. I always tell her to try first and then I will help her later because I want to build up their confidence. So when we cut down and we say like, no, you're not spelling that right, we kind of affect their confidence and their ability to try. So this is why learning the phonetic um, sounds helps them with their writing. So because Chelsea knew her phonetic sounds so early on, when she decided she was ready to write, which wasn't until later, she didn't start writing until she was, uh, until she started JK. And I think she saw other kids writing and she was like, oh, okay. But when she started to write, she picked up writing like this. Like she was so good at it so quickly because she had those phonetic sounds from her reading skills. So now she's a pretty good writer. She can write a lot of things by just using her phonetic sounds, her phonetic letter awareness. So that's such a key thing. Um, never, like I never push, always it's at their own pace. Uh, Liam says Elephants was playing on Disney Plus. Oh, sweet. Okay, who wants to do another one? Send me some likes and loves if you wanna do another one. I know we're over time here, but I'm having so much fun with you guys. I want to do another one, and I'd like to do a vowel because they're kind of the tricky ones. Send me some likes and loves if you'd like to do another one. You guys are so awesome, and I love you so, so much. And this is our last day together before the weekend because today's Friday, so I'm not going to see you on Saturday or Sunday. So I'm not going to see you until Monday. So I want to I wanna just have a few more minutes with you before I let you go. Okay, let me see. Um, let me just make sure. Um, yes, because I have physio coming up at 12.45. Mrs. Hayward's days are busy. I have schoolwork to do, and I have physio, and hanging with Mrs. Hayward. My days are busy. I'm trying to find a really good vowel that we haven't done before. Okay. Oh, you know what? All right, let's do this one. So here's the vowel. Tell me what letter is. Oh, Monday's a holiday. You're right. Thanks for pointing that out. Monday is a holiday. So should we skip Monday? Should we skip Monday and not come back till Tuesday? What do you think? Tell me if you want to watch, if you want to see it on Monday, or if you want to just wait till Tuesday. Let me know in the comments if you want to if you want to watch on Monday, if you'll log in on Monday, or if you'd rather just wait till Tuesday, let me know. Okay, this, tell me what the letter is and tell me the sound. Uh, I want to go to, I went, I want to, uh, Hope says I went to school when I was three. Oh, wow. So you were early. Uh, Francisco says Tuesday. Okay, Ella says Tuesday too. Alicia's Tuesday. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for letting me know. So I won't, we won't be on on Monday because it's a holiday. So we will come back on Tuesday. So no Monday. So what does it say? The I, so we know that the long I, this is a vowel, we know the long I says I, right? That's easy peasy. But the short I says I, I. And I kind of like to do that with, when I show my kids in my class, I always go like this, I. The short I kind of has an attitude. It's like, eh, eh. So give the short I a little attitude. I like to do those things because it helps them to remember. It helps them to like have a little um, association with the thing. So just like H, I always go, <sighs> I like to give them a little association. Okay, so Liam says Tuesday so Mrs. Hayward can rest. Oh, I love that. Yes. You know what? I'm going to do that. So usually Mrs. Hayward rests on Saturday, Sunday. But if I can have three days to rest, I think that would be great. You guys are the best. Clara says it's an I for ice cream and goes it, and maybe an iguana is in the acorn. <gasps> Let's see, what do you think is in the acorn? Put some guesses down there. What's in the acorn? I'm wondering too. I'm wondering what's in the acorn. I don't even remember. Chelsea says I won't eat. I won't eat, I want to eat until Monday. I won't eat until Monday. What? What does that mean, Chelsea? I won't eat until Monday. <laughs> I, 
Uh, or I won't wait until Monday, maybe? I don't know. Okay, Lisa, uh, Francisco says ice cream. Marissa says igloo. Oh, Marissa, I think you might have a memory. <gasps> what do you think it is? Dylan says ice cream. What does Kayla say? What do you think? What do you think? It's an ice cream cone and it's so super cute. It's so tiny. Look at how cute it is. Look at, look at that. It's a so super cute ice cream cone, right? So super cute. Okay, use ice cream cone in a sentence. Mrs. Hayward likes What's the name of my favorite ice cream? Oh, I forget. Um, what's the name of my favorite ice cream? Uh, hi, Trisha. Hi. Uh, Hope was born on November 20th. Oh, hi. Uh, mommy says igloo. Oh, you thought it was an igloo, Jen. It is an ice cream, but use ice cream in a sentence. I can't think of my favorite ice cream. It's that, um, it's that one with, um, Oh, what is it called? Chad, if you're watching, let me know what my ice cream is called that I love. Um, I can't even think of the name. Mrs. Hayward is literally having a brain freeze this morning. I can't even think of the brand of ice cream that I like. That really popular ice cream that's so good. Uh, ice cream is really good. I love ice cream. All great sentences, totally. Um, Clara's favorite ice cream is strawberry. Mommy likes cookies and cream. I like, oh, it's literally on the tip of my tongue. Um, no, not Ben and Jerry. Kortha Dairy. Kortha Dairy. Thank you, Jen. Moose Tracks. Yes. Oh, thanks, Stevie. Yes, Moose Tracks. Moose Tracks. Kortha Dairy Moose Tracks is Mrs. Hayward's favorite ice cream. Thank you. Holy smokes, that was on the tip of my tongue. It was there, I could feel it. I just couldn't get it out for some reason. Hashtag over 40. Okay, so ice cream, use that in a sentence. Trisha says, I love ice cream too. Use that in a sentence. Mrs. Hayward loves Moose Tracks ice cream. That's my sentence. What is yours? Oh, what is your favorite ice cream? Pop that down. Ellis, I think Ella's saying her favorite ice cream is strawberry. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> what would I do without you? <laughs> Literally, what would I do? <laughs> Give me your sentence. Pop it down below. Maureen says, excellent choice. Yes, Moose Tracks is the best. It is so, so good. I can't wait until the summer so we could ride our bike as a family, because there's an ice cream store that's like up on Curtis Road, close to where we live, and we could ride our bike all the way to the ice cream store and stop and have an ice cream as a family and then ride our bike back. So that would be a great thing because we would be getting exercise and then we would have a little treat. So that would make it so fun. Chelsea says, my favorite is chocolate ice cream. Yes, she loves it. And Chelsea, I love your writing. That is really good spelling. Good job at chocolate. That is so good. Liam says, I love vanilla ice cream with whipped cream. What? That's like a sundae. Kayla says she loves mint. Every ice cream, Hope says. Francisco loves vanilla and the white one, he explains. I know. So, so good. Uh, we get ice cream while camping in the summer. Oh, Ella, I know. I love that. I love that. You like Briar's ice cream, Trisha? Hmm, I haven't had that in a long time. I really, really like Kortha Dairy ice cream. Okay, last one. Last one, and only because it's a vowel, I wanna do another vowel with you, and only because I'm having so much fun with you. And I got, and guys, you're making my day. Honestly, you made my day so much today. Um, so this is the last, last one we're going to do today. And it is the letter, what? Pop it down below and tell me what sound it makes. Uh, do you know, uh, do you know 
anyone like Wendy and Ken? Do I know anyone like Wendy and Ken? Hmm. I know a Wendy and I know a Ken. Yes. So it is a you. And it's, if it says its own name, it says you. But if it says another name, it says a. Uh. It's short, it's short vowel name is uh, like in up, uh, uh, yes, Maddie, yes, uh, yes, Trisha, yes, Kayla. Okay, is it Trisha or are you using your mommy's account? Who is popping that down? Uh, Clara says it's a U for unicorn and umbrella and it goes ah. Uh. Clara, you are jumping the gun. Good. What do you think is inside? Clara already thinks it's a unicorn or an umbrella. What do you think is inside? Dylan says you and ah. Uh. Excellent. That is the short vowel sound. I like to do the short vowels especially because they're a bit trickier, right? So they're a little bit trickier and so they're really good because a vowel is in every single word. Every single word has a vowel in it. All right. Uh, Ella thinks a unicorn's in there, and Lisa and Francisco thinks it's an umbrella. What do you think? This is our last one, boys and girls. What do you think is in here? And then it's Happy Friday. Mrs. Hayward's gonna go put on her sweatpants and relax for three days. I'm gonna have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off, where our Mrs. Hayward's gonna be in her sweatpants, her hair in a pony, and no makeup. That's it for three days. And my pajamas. I'm going to live in my pajamas for three days. Uh, Marissa thinks umbrella and bird. Maddie says umbrella. Ashley's, Ashley says she is my grandma. Oh, Wendy and Ken. Wendy is your grandma. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I do. I'll have to look. I'll have to look after. Okay. Um, I probably do know. Okay, so here we go. It was an umbrella. If you said umbrella, you were right. A umbrella, a umbrella, a umbrella, umbrella. And you know what? You could use an umbrella today with the weather outside. It has been raining. And Mrs. Hay Mr. Hayward is not happy about that because he's working on the backyard, trying to put a pool in the backyard. And with the rain, he's getting unhappy because it's stopping all of his wonderful work. Looks like, I yeah. Looks like I had something there. Don't know what it was. Okay, so it is an umbrella. Use the word umbrella in a sentence. Use the word umbrella in a sentence for me. Oh, they live by me, Hope? Oh, where do they live? I probably do know them then. Do they live in my neighborhood? Or do they live in Curtis? Okay, use the word umbrella in a sentence. I'm gonna use one. Mrs. Hayward likes to use an umbrella when she goes outside in the rain. Mrs. Hayward likes to use an umbrella when she goes outside in the rain. There's my sentence. See how I made such a big sentence? I like to call that a juicy hamburger sentence because it's got lots of descriptive words. And so if you're older, you can you you can make juicy hamburger sentences with lots of descriptive words. Mrs. Hayward likes to go outside in the pouring rain. There's a descriptive word I just added. Mrs. Hayward likes to go outside in the wet pouring rain. Dylan says four or five guesses. The umbrella helps you not get wet. Good sentence. Uh Marissa says you use an umbrella when it's raining to keep you dry. Good job. Excellent. Great sentence too. Rich. Uh, Ashley says the two. The two? What does that mean? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Ashley, what you mean. Pop your sentences down below. And don't forget, also, they have the upper and lower case letters. So you can also do a fun matching game if you are uh, just working with your little ones. 
The word umbrella has my cousin's name in it. Ooh, umbrella. So, oh, Ella. Ella. Ella is in the word umbrella. Huh. That is so funny. So we should sing a song to her, like, I'm using my umbrella, Ella, Ella, Ella. Right? That should be your favorite song, Ella. I'm using my umbrella, Ella, Ella, Ella. Mrs. Hayward, you are so funny. Uh, Dylan says, I use my umbrella outside when it rains. Good sentence. Great sentence. Um, Clara said, my umbrella is black and white. Good sentence. And Kayla says, I hold my umbrella. Good one. Ella and Ella, yes, that is you. <laughs> that is you. I like that, right? I'm using my umbrella. Ella, Ella, Ella. Your name is in the word umbrella. That is super cool. So I think that should be your key song now, Ella. For now, from now on, that has to be your song. You have to be like, I'm using my umbrella, Ella, Ella, Ella. That's so cool. I wish my name was in a song. Like, um, there is a feather, Heather, Heather, Heather. No, not as cool. No, your song is way cooler, Ella. Okay, boys and girls, thank you so much for logging in. I couldn't even let you go today. I'll be honest with you. I was having so much fun with you. Boys and girls, if you can do me a favor, if you did something awesome or you're writing your sentences down or you're doing some work, send me your pictures. I love to post pictures on my website of you viewers. Um, also, parents, if you could do me a huge favor, especially if you're new here, if you can share my video on your page, that would be life. That would be so great because it helps to spread the word um, to other parents. This is a free video. We're not um, making any money off this video. I don't have any sponsors for this. So I'm just doing this to get this out to parents who might want a little extra support. So it'd be lovely to get some more parents connected with us. So if you can share on your page, that would be fantastic. Also, if you can, if you haven't already done so, if you can go over to YouTube, uh, Hanging with Mrs. Hayward, and click subscribe because I am going to be doing some super cool things over there in a bit. So, and follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram too. All right. Thank you so much. Have yourself an amazing weekend, boys and girls, and parents deserve it. Get in your pajamas, get your hair up, chill out, relax, enjoy this long weekend. Mrs. Hayward is going to too. So, I'm going to have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I'll be back here for you, boys and girls, on Tuesday morning at 11. So, join me here Tuesday morning at 11. You have a great weekend too, Clara. Thank you. Mrs. Hayward is going to go now and finish her coffee.